No. Good morning. We kind of have a problem. I'm out of propane. I'm out of butane. I didn't know I was out of propane. I think the elevation is like sucking the life out of my propane. I might have made that up. I don't know. Um, we need to make coffee. What the hell? Oh boy. I have an idea though. Do you believe in my idea right now? Because we need to have coffee. If we're taking these boys to the lake in the mud, which is like gonna be so cute and adorable. We need to be properly fueled to manage that situation. Have a large black coffee, please. Can I also have a cold brew? Okay, how freaking cute was that? What a fun job. Whew. We are gonna take these boys. Hopefully have the time of their life at the lake now that we have coffee. You ready, boys? Love you. My keys. I need the keys. So now we are going to. Mountain View. We're just gonna drive and see if we see it because we're right here. Shall we? Shall we, boys? That was the smallest town. Is that the whole town? There were four buildings in that town. Maybe it goes on a little bit further, but I don't know. All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled for fun. So we're going to Mountain View, I think it is, because, what's this one say? That's White Star. Or because that's where the camp host said. He was amazing. He also went to high school with my dad. Hi, what? I know, they were like a few years off, but that's that's weird, that's crazy. There are all these small world moments when you travel that just completely blow your mind. And that's one of them. He said there's lots of sand, the doggy should have a great time. I just hope that we find it. Huh. No, well, I can't look it up because my phone is dead, so. Oops. <clears throat> what have we got here? This is something. What does this say? Oh, it's a power plant. We, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, more signs up ahead. None of these make sense. None of these add up. I don't think this is it. What did he say on this? Mount View. We've got this. We've literally got this. Well, at this point, you know I'm not much of a Colorado girl, but I will say that this, I'm in Twin Lakes. I will say this is like one of the most beautiful areas I have ever seen. Stunning. I hope that we also have a good time at the lakes, but if not, the drive was amazing and it is beautiful. And that's coming from someone that doesn't really care about lakes. Maybe I will start to like lakes. Maybe this is a turning point in my life. There are a lot of cars down there. Don't like that. What does this say? That's Dexter, we've gone too far. Now I feel like we're gonna have to ask someone. There's three spots on the same road and we can't find. Maybe I should plug my phone in. We made it. Now, oops. let's go have a good time with these boys. I'm all packed up. That was a little bit exhausting. There we go. Three boys. Mako is gone. Oh, Mako. Get him. Get him back. Ah! So fun. Okay, I brought their balls, but at this point, I don't even think they're gonna play with their balls. They're just gonna be so happy to chase each other. And, oops. And I mean, look at where we are right now. Holy crap. Now this, this honestly feels good. I want to go swim.
There is a cloud of sand, rocks, and debris that continuously follows Mako as he runs. It's actually Kenzie's favorite thing about him. But right now it's just a little wetter, a little more rockier. <laughs> oh my God, they're so happy. Did you just take that out of the bag? You crazy puppy boy. Go ahead, Hope, go in. Go ahead, Bubba. And there they go. Oh. I have finally found that perfect spot to relax and not stress about the dogs. And holy shit, it is perfect. It really, it really is. I hope that you can feel what I'm feeling right now. It's just this sense of like the weight has been lifted. Even though this morning we have no propane, no butane, no, we have nothing. We were probably almost out of water too. But you know what? The car started and the dogs are happy. And when the dogs are happy, I am happy. Did Mako steal his ball again? Mako! You need to stop with brother's ball. Drop it. Where's your ball? Oh, You brought your stick in the water? You hunting? Oh, you're hunting from the water. You are a shark. That is the most shark-like I've ever seen Mako. Just hunting from within the water. That's a first. Usually we hunt on dry land. Okay, I think we're finally calming down. Opie wants to dry off a little bit. Okay, there you go. Is this not the freaking cutest thing you've ever seen? It's my little sausage roll. You feeling alive? Oh, my sweet boy. Oh, you feeling sassy? Where's your ball? Mako, where's his ball? Okay. Thank you. It's just still, he's still running. Opie is run, he swim, he's drying off, he's playing with his towel. Mako's like, full speed bump, I'm still going. Hi, two totally different personalities, you know? Such a good morning. Damn. I just had this epiphany. The reason I am loving it so much here right now is because it's all moody. What happened was I started thinking, I was like, is this like really bright? Is it bright blue? Like, I don't even know what it looks like when it's like nice. And then I'm like, I probably only think it's stunning because it's not, because there's all clouds in the mountains. Everything's a little bit gray. It's just dark. And to me, that is perfect. I don't know, how would I feel about this if it was like bright blue, sunny day? It'd be nice, but I would not feel, I would not feel this relaxed. Oh my God, the sun makes me stressed. Is that what we're saying? Okay, wow, I look, I look distraught. That's okay. Got my cold brew, which is cold and has ice. And the cup is very cold. The outside is very cold. I feel like my seat got all messed up. Every time I put the broom away. Oh, that's not right. That's, what, what, what is going on? Why, like what feels right? This doesn't feel, there's definitely more buttons that's that like this doesn't feel right i need to start over yeah it feels okay mako or opie who had a better time that's a toss-up i don't know okay now that we're done having a moment over the seat i know you do this too i know you do We 
are on another mountain pass. Um, yeah, this one has 10 mile an hour turns. Very dramatic. And this one is actually really beautiful. I think this one is my favorite. Not that I've done so many, but you know, I think this one's my favorite. I don't know what it's called and I don't really know where I am. But it is gray and it is gloomy, so Mako sit down. It is gray and it is gloomy, so I am just loving it. Maybe I just really don't like the sun. Like this is so much more comforting. That was a that was a tight turn. Oh my god. The crazy that we're driving up here. Like who built these roads? Oh here we go. Now we're really we're really going up now. I hope there's a nice little pullout at the top of wherever we are, because that'll look so sick. We're like almost in the cloud. My ears. We're someone from Colorado to tell me how high we are. Oh my god. Oh, it looks amazing. <gasps> this is the actual scenic lookout. I think we should go. I think we should go check it out. Because... Ooh, there's a sticker sign too. We should slap that bitch. Okay, it's raining really hard. We need to get out of here. This is, my shoes are so wet. Oh man, this is cool though. I enjoyed this. I'm starting to really feel like myself again. I'm starting to feel that solo energy. Oh my God, we gotta get out of here. Okay. Wow. I'm just a uh, touch wet again. I tried to run. We all know how Colorado is treating my lungs. That was awesome. Oh, I love that. Um, bummer that my zip up is wet now. That is like, no bueno. Oh my gosh, I need to take this hoodie off. Guess what leak is back. Oh my God. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Hasn't been back in a while and it was feeling left out was like oh you've had a good day hold on it hasn't really hit the mattress yet so ow hit the comforter though <sighs> i don't even know what to do the worst part about this leak is that we genuinely do not know where it's coming from charlie has sealed the van 500 times <sighs> we have tested it with we're still driving bub we've tested it with the hose we, i mean I don't know. This is make I'll leave it alone, Bubba. Okay, all right. Oh boy. I'm gonna put the heat on my feet. I don't know what we're gonna do about this leak. This feels like a real problem that I don't know how to handle. Um, I guess there's nothing really I can do about it. We've had it forever. Mainly it affects Charlie. Come on, Bub. Because that's the side of the bed. I'm just gonna try not to let it get. Moldy? That's my that's my concern. I don't know, guys. I don't know. That is very that is raining hard. I thought we were gonna clear that off. We're not. You ready to go? Okay, so I I filmed absolutely none of that, and I'm in Aspen, and I got groceries. So I'm also definitely out of water, and I'm doing absolutely nothing about it. But you know what? That's a problem for tomorrow. I think we have enough to get by. That's. GTFO. God, I hate when the maps does this, when it just doesn't update and I don't know if I'm going left or right out of the parking lot. Panic, immediate panic. Did I pick correctly? I'm going right. I did not, not even close. I was not even supposed to go out of the parking lot in that direction. Okay, that was a loss. It's all right, we're getting back on track. There's like three roads in, in Aspen, in the town. Um, is it cute yet? I don't know, but we know my feelings about like mountain towns and stuff, so I don't know. The plan now is that we're gonna go try and sleep at this sketchy spot. 
we're gonna hit some hot springs first thing in the morning. This is very, very small town. Feels right now. I pulled into a regular parking spot. I guess in their downtown area, I don't know. I have our premiere in like 15 minutes. I need to walk the boys. And then I don't know if we're gonna just try and go for it in this spot. Cause it says two hour parking Monday to Friday. I'm also leaving at five in the morning. Like, do I care? Update. I don't know where I'm sleeping still. I just don't know. Part of me is like, maybe I should go drive to the hot springs and see what that situation is like because I've always slept at hot springs whenever we go to one. It's like down the street. It could be worth a shot to go see. Oh my God, these boys are knocked out. Oh my God, I'm literally like crying. Oh my God, there is a double rainbow. This is a good sign. Oh my God. Wait, stop it. This is like so amazing because I'm kind of like freaking out. Like, I don't know where to park. I'm gonna take a picture on my phone. Oh my God. Wait, I can't even take good enough picture on my phone. I am dying. Wait, can we get me and the rainbow? Wait, we kind of can. Wait, let me center in the rainbow. Wait, put my phone down. And it's raining? Oh my God. I am like having my moment right now. It's just getting brighter and brighter. This is cute. This is so cute. This one is like ending in the mountain over there. I can't, I can't stop freaking out. Everyone else is freaking out too because it's magical. Rainbows are pure magic. Nobody understands them. Actually, I don't think they're a mystery. I don't understand them and I love it. I love it even more that way. So the hot springs are 30. Three minutes away. How did I mess this up? I hope this is the right place now. Can you honestly be any cuter? Can you? Can you be cuter, Ope? Caused by sunlight and atmospheric condition. Light enters a water droplet reflects the inside. The moral of the story is that we still don't know what a rainbow is and that you should watch another fucking vlog.